Ever wondered what sporting athletes go through when they are constantly on the road? And no, I do not mean traveling to the Atabolan Stadium for Marima every day for training. I'm talking about the real deal, where as a single athlete or a member of a team, persons are constantly having to be on flights in between countries either within one continent or from one to the other. The Trinidad and Tobago senior men's team will journey to Aichi, Japan at the end of the month for an international friendly and then fly straight to Los Angeles to continue its build-up for the 2019 CONCACAF Gold Cup. The team of 35 persons, including players and staff, will then journey for matches between Minnesota, Cleveland and Kansas within 8 days, which means that De Dennis Lawrence's men will be on the road for roughly one month and maybe more depending on how far the team progresses in the competition. Then there's the West Indies cricket team preparing for the ICC World Cup, which has its own challenges during the next few weeks. The relay team just returned from a triumphant run in Yokohama. Playing sports is a huge commitment, and athletes often miss out on other types of travel opportunities and life experiences because of their dedication to the game. Persons miss out on birthdays, family occasions, graduations, anniversaries, funerals, and more. But there's the other side to it as well. Traveling together has an immense impact on a group, both athletes and staff members. The bonds created are immense. The opportunity to spend time together allows a space for teammates to bond while sharing unique and life-changing experiences. There's cross-cultural connections where persons do not need to speak the same language to survive or communicate but they get to learn new things or forms of communicating. Playing sports in another country means new competition, new conditions and a chance to gain new skills. There's a unique opportunity to share strategies from athletes around the world who've grown up playing the sport and learn moves that teams can eventually use in other forms of environment or competitions. While one could encounter an accident or even a helicopter crash at home, Travel also exposes us to the kind of dangers we wouldn't normally experience. Staying in that dodgy area of Caracas? Sure, why not? The footballers wouldn't have to worry about that later this month after the international friendly was cancelled. Sometimes we are in a particular area where overnight shootings on the street outside happen all the time according to the laser officer and there's nothing to worry about. But getting out of our comfort zone is the best way to learn about life other cultures and often provides times we will remember forever. What about the actual flight? Do you ever get fully accustomed to or comfortable flying whether it be a 2 hour or a 12 hour flight? I remember being on a flight departing San Jose, Costa Rica after a World Cup qualifier in 2005. All the big names were on that flight, from Leo Ben Hacker to Dwight York, Russell Latipi, Dennis Lawrence and Stern John among the rest. And less than 20 minutes into the flight, a fire started in the cabin, smoke visible and there had to be a sudden emergency landing at a military airport somewhere in what appeared to be a jungle. The entire TNT team and other passengers were stranded there for just over 6 hours until another plane was sent to pick us up. One wonders if you really ever get over such an experience. There's also the issues of delayed flights, loss or late arrival of baggage unsuitable accommodation and bad meals. Fortunately, most times these things are ironed out. But as sporting professionals, we know that there's a whole planet to explore and doing so will help us grow in every way. Emotionally, spiritually and intellectually. Because while we may not end up as prosperous or wealthy as Bill Gates or Richard Branson, We'll be rich in experiences and we want to push the boundaries while traveling and leave our usual caution behind. We aren't so cultural when at home, but when we are in Paris or even Havana, we never have enough time to finish strolling around the cultural highlights. But while travel might shape our perspectives on life, where we come from defines us. Our friends and family keep us grounded. Even if you're ready to flee the nest again, the moment the fuzzy feeling of being home wears off, the contrast being between being away and being home puts your travel into perspective. They say tolerance is a virtue and a life skill. If you end up in an office or pretty much any workplace, this lesson of travel will equip you 
to deal with difficult people and sports is an avenue to achieve this. You may even develop sympathy for your socially inept family member. Plus, you will have stories and stories make the world go around.